and see a man who told me everything I have ever done. A testimony of a changed life. Today begins our new church year. And I believe for each one of us, there can be something to change, to make us better stewards for this new church year. And I name the team, Jesus made the difference. Jesus made the difference and can still. The passage that was read to us is more or less a conversation between Jesus and the Samaritan woman. And we need to be reminded that the Samaritans were more or less being guided or they honor Moses' um, law, the Pentateuch, or the Torah as we know it. Those five, uh, first five books of our Bible. And so they were not fully into all the Jewish scriptures. The other point is that the, views, the Jews view the Samaritans as um, as what we call mixed breed, <laughs> like um, probably like the dogler in Guyanese parlance, and they consider them to be ignorant, and you know that they they were soup they 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 had they were filled with superstitious belief, and so the Jews did not consider them to be part of God's favored people. They rejected them. And that rejection would have given rise to intense hostility between the two of them. And so um, there existed a norm where women would have gone to fill their water pots early in the morning or late in the afternoon um that is what i discover reason was not given but i want to perceive that they probably see women as a lighter sex and so early in the morning you know it's cool in the evening it's cool and so if the men were going there it would have been when the climate was very harsh hot, and so forth. Anyhow, the passage tells us a different story when it came to the arrival of women when it comes to this particular woman. She chose to go to the well at noon. Perhaps her sole reason was to be peaceful by avoiding the barefacedly gossips or the derogatory remarks that were usually thrown at her because of her immoral behavior. And what was noteworthy is that the passage did not say anybody would have made an effort to help her to correct that but all you know they knew it was wrong and uh, that wasn't a care for them however the passage tells us a different story when we move on as we um, would have read here it says that um She went after Jesus was there. And I want to say that in every bad situation, that's how I viewed it. There lies the opportunity for something good to happen. 
in every bad situation, there lies the opportunity for something good to happen. Something that allows one to leave the past behind and start anew. Here in this situation, so to say, the opportunities like these are often given the stroke of the shoulders or, you know, it, 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 it receives a kind of a, I don't care attitude by the sufferer or the one who is in the plight. And the question I ask is, is it because of shame by the person or the victim? Or is it because of the way the offer is usually made that gives way to that kind of attitude? I believe that one's approach can make a difference. And you, you see the story told in this passage can be a lesson for all of us to learn for application. Particularly now that a new church here begins today. For, because though Jesus was tired and maybe thirsty, I guess probably that is why he sat at the well. Or we know that he's all-knowing. So we can say he knew that there will come someone whose need is for deliverance. And there are times we are put in that position too. But how we treat it is another story. Though Jesus was tired and maybe thirsty, and though he was an assertive person, he used a subtle, friendly approach to gain the Samaritan woman's attention. Thereafter, he directed the conversation to her spiritual need. He started the conversation and then he smoothly moved it to her her um, problematic situation. And Jesus' Jesus's approach would have allowed her to grab at the opportunity to be filled with the never drying living water. And also she, astonishingly, admitted her sinful acts to God, to Jesus. The question is, was she seeking Jesus? I don't think so. No, because she went to draw water. It was Jesus who made the first step. He engaged her and gave her the best gift she had ever received. He led. He didn't take a layback approach no nor let me see what she will do or such like many times we are like that and i'm i, I and that's why i usually say we sometimes you see something but then you know you don't consider it to be that important or it's the opportunity you're being given to make the difference of one's spiritual life. Jesus befriended her in an acceptable and an unusual way. Here is this one man who is not harsh with her. Here is this one man who is not for who is formally making her see through her emotional blindness. Ridicule, no more. There is no pretending that the wrong is right in order to secure support or establish a relationship for his benefit. Jesus, on the other hand, broke down the woman's barrier 
the barrier that kept her in that separated relationship that existed between the Jews and the Samaritans. This woman went to the well and her first encounter with Jesus brought her spiritual relief. She truly saw the light. You know, we have a dog and said, no, we, no, I see the light, you know, but she saw that light and she also saw the light who was Jesus. She went to the well with weight to draw as much water as she can fetch. But she left the well without the weight. She fetched there physically and emotionally. She was filled with the water that is light and that water that speaks of everlasting life. Her testimony was, come see a man who told me everything, not some, but everything. Come see a man who told me everything I have ever done. My brothers and sisters, we may not be in that situation that we were, we were able to tell everything that the person done to bring them to that point of conviction or so. But with the grace of God, he can give us the strength to move someone from that plight situation to a situation of deliverance. And so for this new church here, there must be the cause for us to have at least someone happily drinking from the well of living water. At least that is by desire. If we could see it as one of our goals to achieve, we are going after, we are seeking out those people who need our spiritual help. I'm not saying that it's limited because when Jesus sees those of us who were in church Sunday, we would have reminded that God sees, he knows, you know, he hears, he is in uh, all encompassed relationship with us. And so nothing is difficult for him to do. We see the Samaritan woman's knowledge of thirst quenching was limited to the natural water. But Jesus' offer, his offer of this special eternal gift was gladly accepted to her. It was not a missed opportunity. There are times we have the opportunity, but we let it slip by. And so I want to say, brothers and sisters, I want to remind us that there is someone who is waiting for the same treatment, especially in this hostile life threatening COVID-19 environment. Quite often I wonder those who would have departed, what state they were in, you know? Were they given the opportunity were their lives in order? How can we make the difference as our Savior would have done to that Samaritan woman? Jesus is still the same. Jesus can make the difference to anyone who is caught in a net of spiritual blindness. Jesus can make the difference. For this year, may we remind ourselves in our witnessing, it is not us, but it is Jesus who makes the difference. Amen.